talking about the with, that's Willie Colon's voice that you hear. Uh, the Jet is with us right now, uh, and I'll be here for the hour. You know, let's talk about Brady. Sure. Because everyone's saying the Denver defense is going to be able to stop Brady, but they've got to get to him, as you said, they're uncomfortable. Him. When they talk about quick releases, I mean, we're saying it as, as people from the outside looking in. Does he have an unnaturally quick release? Is it hard to get to him? Because the Giants did in the two Super Bowl wins. Right, yes. Do you think he's that fast, and will he be able to get the ball off before they get to him? Well, I think two things have to happen. When a guy with a quick release like that, he knows where he's going with the ball right away. So you got to have to jam those guys at the line and, and kind of offset them in some type of way. So where he gets the ball, he, he knows that he has to stutter his feet or maybe pump the ball to kind of give it time. That messes up the rhythm of where he's passing the ball. For Brady to get to him, you have to fire at him up the gut, and you got to contain him inside. A lot of people think, you know, one thing with Brady, when he steps back, like I said before, he knows where he's going with the ball, but he also knows – who's coming after him. He can see blitzes. He picks it up right away. He knows what, where his head is going to go. He knows where the reads are going to be. It's going to be important to, to stun up front, fire off the corner. I think one thing, when we played him, especially the Jets, I thought we did a great job of mixing our blitzes up, keep him, you know, jumping into zone, firing at him. So it's, it's going to be interesting. I think for Brady, his natural release is just who he is. He has the knack of getting off the ball. And his receivers do, receivers do a great job of just getting to their spots and getting north. And it's hard to jam Gronkowski at the it line. It is. It is. I mean, he's a monster. I right. mean, I don't even if anybody's ever seen him, but he's an absolute freak show. So. Now, this line is not what it was that really banged up. I mean, where does this Patriot team compare to last year's? Is it that far off from it? Well, there's a lot of young guys playing for them, and, and that plays a factor. A lot of guys haven't been this far because they're, you know, they're pretty much rookies. But Brady makes him great in, in some aspects. He gets rid of the ball. You know, he leans on his running backs at times. And, listen, Edelman and Gronk is everything for him. You know, when Gronk got hurt, you know, you can almost say the season was over for those guys right. if you want to throw it out there like that. Uh, but now that he got Gronk, Edelman, I think LaFell's playing a lot better for him. You know, his weapons are here. So I think he's going to rise to the occasion, but we'll see. We had this discussion yesterday. We're talking with Willie Colon here on the Michael K Show. Does Brady make Belichick the coach he is, or does Belichick make Brady? And it, are they that different? As an, I know as a Jet, you're, you're kind of groomed to hate right. them. But from the outside looking in, can you appreciate what they've done? Well, it's interesting because Steven really uh, came for the Patriots, and he's with the Jets. Right. And I remember talking to him about it, and he said Belichick and Brady are, are the same minds. They think it like they're so in tune with each other. Um, they play at such a high level. He coaches at such a high level. They're almost above the team. So it's, it's pretty much two bosses running the team, and, mm -hmm. and they feed off each other. Um, I don't know if one makes you know each other better than the other, but I know they're on the same wavelength mentally. And so when it comes to Sunday, they you know, Belichick just lets Brady run the show. And that's comfort for a coach when you just say, Hey, I know what's gonna happen, I know what you're thinking in, in crucial situations. So I think they've been playing so long together that it doesn't matter. I think they're just both brilliant at the game of football. I I was talking to Michael about this and I don't mean to frustrate you at all. Please don't. But I believe <laughs> that there was, if you had beaten Buffalo, there's a very good chance you guys are playing. I this agree. Weekend. I agree. And I know you had struggles on the road, and you didn't beat Buffalo, so it's hard for me to win that argument. Right. But you agree that you may have missed an opportunity in Week 17 of going to the Super Bowl. I mean, it, that's that was that's the whole thing about it. We knew if we would have got into the show, we had a place at the table, we was going to run a table because I felt like we were that hot. Was struggling, you know, it's, it's tough because after you watch Houston get their heads beat in, you're saying, well, we should have took Houston's spot. Well, we lost to Houston, too, so now we have to sit up there and keep our mouth shut. You know right, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But at the, when we went to Buffalo, we just didn't, we didn't start fast. We had too many drops. We couldn't get off the field on third down. There was a lot of things going against us. But very down to the last minute, we were still in that game. So I do believe if we were in, we, be, we would be here. And I think we would beat the Patriots because one thing I – our strength of our team is our pass rush. Mo Wilkins and Sheldon Richardson and Todd Bowles, you know, we light it up when we go against the Patriots because we, we're, we're the most physical team every time we played them.